My friends, what I have here is the Helicon Tex Alpha Tactical Jacket. This is a fleece grid, or at least that's what Helicon calls it. The company refers to this as a lightweight, compressible fleece jacket. I would disagree with both of those claims. First off, this is more of a like mid to heavyweight fleece and it is not compressible at all. And to be honest, it's really not that lightweight either. With that being said, this is a very nice jacket. It's a jacket that I've been wearing for the last couple of months. I've received countless emails about this and that's why I'm here today. This is my agenda free review of the Helicon Tex Alpha Tactical Jacket and it begins right now. When it comes to this jacket, it is part of the Helicon Tex Urban line of products. This has been out on the market for a long time, for a long time, and only recently did I stumble across it. You can see here with the fit, I would say this is more of a relaxed fit. The company says this is more of a slim fit, but I would disagree. When it comes to fleece jackets, there are, without a doubt, jackets that fit more snugly than this one here. Anytime that you see someone wearing this jacket, you will see that it's not very, very tight. The primary material for this jacket is polyester, 100% polyester. It features YKK zippers. This jacket has five pockets. You have one on each arm, that's two. One on the chest, three, four, and five. With each of the zippers, you have draw pulls. When you go to the inside of the jacket, you have mesh. This mesh provides airflow and also a little bit more comfort than the fleece itself. Right here, you have the chest pocket. On the other side, you have a media port for headphones and so on. You do not have any sort of pockets on the inside of the jacket. When it comes to the pockets on the arms, they are hard to open. You're not going to be able to do this with one hand. You will have to basically take the cuff, hold it straight, and then open it just like that. As far as the size goes, it's a fair amount of space. On the arms, you have a section of Velcro. This is 3.9 inches by 3.3 inches. And you do have those placements on both sides. The front zipper is very smooth. With the collar, it can stand up or it can lay flat, depending on your style. When zipped all the way up, it does feature a chin guard. With the cuffs, these are elastic. And as you can see there, there's limited stretchability. On the inside of the jacket, you do have draw pulls, one on each side. And that's so that you can pull this jacket tight around your waist. When it comes to the available colors of this jacket, you can find it in three, black, olive green, and gray. Those are the current colors that the company is offering. I'm pretty certain in the past, there was a coyote brown version of this jacket because I've seen it on other websites. But as far as what Helicon Tex offers, it's those three. Talking about versions of this jacket, there is also a hooded version of this jacket, which is available, which is a few dollars more expensive. Talking about price, the retail price of this jacket is only $58. 58 bucks for a high quality fleece jacket, that's impressive. When it comes to sizes, extra small all the way up to 2XL. So those are the features and stats for this jacket. Let's move to my review and my impressions of this so far. I've been using this throughout the winter and now going into the spring. One thing that I love about this jacket is the way it looks. I think this is a really, really nice jacket. It looks cool. I like it. I really like the grid of the fleece. That is unique. And again, it looks sharp. The quality of this jacket is top notch, especially for 58 bucks. With this one that I have here, the quality and the construction really is excellent. The seams are perfect. There's no issues when it comes to loose threads or anything like that. Next up, this jacket is very comfortable to wear and I'm glad that it has the mesh lining on the inside because that is more comfortable than this fleece. Without a doubt, this is not your typical fleece jacket. It feels different. It's soft in a way, but at the same time, it's not. It's kind of, kind of hard to explain. You have to feel it for yourself to understand what I'm talking about. The cut of the jacket is very good. It fits just right. I mean, it really does. It stretches just enough so that you can move and do anything that you need to do. You can see here the wide range of motion. There's no issues. It's not bunching up or anything weird. It's comfortable. My next pro for this jacket is warmth. For the money, it's not bad. Without a doubt, you can buy much warmer fleece jackets than this. For the money, it's moderately warm. Talking about durability for a second, it has held up to my use with no issues very, very well. You can see here on the arms, I don't see any sign of wear or anything like that, and that is impressive. Oftentimes, fleece jackets will wear in the arms very quickly, but so far, that's not the case here. It continues to look good. Next, my friends, the center zip is excellent. It is very smooth. I've never had any issues with it. It's a YKK zipper and it's nice. 
I like the fact that the jacket has plenty of pockets. Again, you have five in total. Another huge pro for this jacket is breathability. This jacket is very breathable. Thanks to that mesh and the grid fleece, it breathes very well. Next, the retail price for this jacket is extremely fair in my opinion. $58 for this fleece, in my opinion, is a very good deal. The next pro that I have for this jacket is fit. In my opinion, it's a good fit, it's an accurate fit. Now, of course, that's going to vary person to person, right? Body types are different, so how accurate that is, it doesn't mean a whole lot. I can say for myself, it's a good fit, it's a true fit, but for you, it might not be, so. Talking about the fit for a second, there's enough space under here for a small additional layer. Maybe the temps are going down into the 30s. You can wear this jacket in addition to a lightweight fleece and have enough space underneath it to wear it. Then you can layer on top of this jacket if you want to. That takes us over to the cons that I have for this jacket. First off, it is heavy. This is the medium size and it's over one and a half pounds. So for a fleece jacket, that's pretty heavy. When you pick this up, it'll shock you at how much this weighs because oftentimes fleece jackets are very lightweight. That is simply not the case. Also, this is not compressible at all. I mean, Helicon Tex, I don't know what you're smoking, but that's not accurate. This thing wads up and it does not compress. So if you want to put this inside of your backpack, that's something that you need to consider. Basically, before you go out on your trip, either you're going to attach it on the outside of your pack or you're going to need a substantial amount of space inside of that backpack because, I mean, folks, it simply does not compress. Let me show you. It wads up, but it doesn't really compress. So without a doubt, it's not lightweight and it's not compressible. And that takes us over to warmth. I mentioned before that it's moderately warm, and that is true. There are plenty of fleece jackets that are lighter weight than this that are also warmer. The next con that I have for this jacket may bother you. This features a left side zip instead of a right side zip. In the United States, a left hand zip is generally for female clothing, not men's. Is this a big deal? For me, no, I don't care. But some people do. Some people will complain about this. That's why I mentioned it but it does feature a left side zip. So in other words, the primary zipper is on the left side. I mentioned as a pro, this jacket is breathable. As a con, it offers virtually no wind resistance at all. When you're wearing this jacket, if there's even a slight breeze, you are going to feel it. Thanks to this grid pattern and the mesh, when the wind is blowing, it cuts right through this jacket. The next con that I have for this jacket are the wrists. They are slightly stretchy. In the wintertime when it's cold, you put your gloves on, you may have a hard time getting the cuff to go over the gloves themselves. It can be difficult because there's not much stretch here. The last con that I have for this jacket is this. Because of the weight and bulk, it really doesn't make a good layering jacket. You can wear like a very thin layer underneath it, but on top of it, it really doesn't work that well. You could put a shell on this, but as far as like a heavier jacket, it wouldn't be all that comfortable. That takes us over to my summary, everyone. Ultimately, I really like this jacket. I think it looks cool. It's very comfortable. It's warm enough. I like it a lot. I really do. My biggest complaints for this jacket are weight and compressibility. It is heavy and it does not compress at all. Talking about a warmth rating for this jacket, these are my experiences. This is how it works well for me. With temperatures down to 45 degrees, I could wear this with a t-shirt, and that's it. Below 45 degrees, I will need an additional layer underneath. Generally, a lightweight, thin fleece jacket. That will take me all the way down into the 30s very comfortably. That temperature range does vary depending on the wind. If it's breezy, again, it will go right through this jacket. If you have an additional fleece layer on underneath, then you really don't feel it. Then it's not that big of a deal. Before I say goodbye, everyone, we need to talk about availability. This jacket has been in limited supply in the United States, at least, for a long time. On the Helicon Tex website, you can find this in two sizes, extra small and small. Will that work for you? Only you can decide. If you're interested in the larger sizes, you can find them on Amazon. But the thing is this, the sellers on Amazon have jacked up the prices. So when I went out to purchase this jacket, it was not available on the Helicon site, the medium size. So I had to go to Amazon. I paid roughly $12 more than the retail price for it. At that price, I'm still happy with the jacket. It's awesome, but you have to be careful. Some sellers are charging double the price. There's a site and also an Amazon seller. They're called Military First. Never buy anything from that company, not from their website or their Amazon store. They are charging double the price for this jacket. Basically what they're doing is price gouging. That's what it boils down to. So with all of that being said, folks, it's time for you to sound off. Comment down below. What do you all think about this jacket? Do you like the looks of it? What do you all think about the grid fleece? What do you all think about the retail price? 58 bucks? That is sweet. That is a really good deal. I mean, it really is. Even paying $12 more than the retail price, that's still not bad. $50 more than the retail price? Don't do that. 
don't don't get screwed. Military first is just screwing people over, so don't do it. My agenda free review ends now. Everyone take care, be well, hit the like button before you go. You can support the Outdoor Gear Review on YouTube or Patreon. You can join the Wolf Pack. The channel is supported and sponsored by you all and no one else. So take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.